Hello, everybody. Hyperparameter tuning is must be procedure in supervised learning. By applying hyperparameter tuning, you can judge how well your model app performing with different parameters of classifier. When fitting a linear regression, we just choose parameters for the model that fit data the best. For example, we have to choose a value for alpha in a rich and lasso regression before fitting it. Analogy before fitting and prediction key nearest neighbor, we need to choose n neighbors parameter. Such as parameters need to be specified before fitting a model are called hyperparameters. Hyperparameters cannot be learned by fitting the model. The schemes how working hyperparameters turning is simple. Try a bunch of different hyperparameters values, fit all of them separately, see how well each performs, choose the best performing ones. It is essential to use cross validation as using train test split alone would risk overfitting the hyperparameters to the, red, to, to the test set. We want to have already split of a test set in order to report how well our model can be expected to perform on a dataset that it has never seen before. The basic idea is as follows. We choose a grid of possible values we want to try for hyperparameters. For example, if we have if we had two hyperparameters, C and alpha, the grid of values to test could look like this. We then perform keyfold cross-validation for each point in the grid for each choice of hyperparameters or, com or combination of hyperparameters. We then choose for our model the choice of hyperparameters that perform the best. This is called a grid search and in Sky in Skykit-Learn, we implement it using the class grid search to CV. Grid search CV can be computationally expensive, especially if you are searching over a large hyperparameter space and dealing with a mul multiple hyperparameters. A solution to this is to use a randomized search CV, in which not all hyperparameters values are tried out. Instead, a fixed number of hyperparameter settings is sampled from specific probability distribution. Okay, uh, let's move on on practical part of this video. And first of all, I would like to introduce uh, the standard way how we can apply uh, classifier. And we have the case when decision tree should be applied to machine learning model for classification task. Uh, and okay, first of all, we import uh, libraries. It's okay, and the second one is to import import uh, dataset. And as you can see, we have a uh, x and i arrays. And uh, the second step, the next one step is to split it out to training set and test set. As you can see, uh, test set is 25% and rest part is for training. And as always, feature scaling. Okay, and the most interesting part in this case is to build our classifier. And as you can see, here we have uh, two parameters. It is criterion is entropy and random state is zero. Okay, let's run it. And it's really interesting to see uh, what accuracy uh, this classifier return and confusion matrix can show us. Okay, and as we can see, in this case we have uh, three plus six incorrect predictions. It's not so bad. And it looks like this. Uh, it's not looking so bad, but we can compare what we can to get in improved model by hyperparameter tuning. Let's go. Okay, so we reach the last part in this video is a uh, implementation of hyperparameter tuning to our model and 
let's do it the beginning is as always it's to import uh, standard libraries is uh, numpy matplotlib and pandas uh, the second step in here is to import models for hyperparameter tuning is a special models is rent int is decision tree classifier okay this is a, this is a standard classifier for decision tree it should go together with uh, the Renting and the last one is import randomizer so we that will implement cross validation to our classifier as you mentioned in Tori part in this video and let's import these models okay it's imported and let's move on so read our data set and we got X and I arrays that should be split it into training and test sets and future scaling it should be applied also as always and now we are in the most exciting place in our code is a hyperparameter tuning and the first step in here is to set up parameters and distribution to sample from and uh, this uh, variable will be responsible for that and what this variable is here we define a combination of hyperparameters that could be worry in our classifier for example max depth uh, can vary from free to infinity minimum sample leaf could uh, vary from 1 to 9 and for example uh, decision tree uh, classifier has a few different criterions it can be Gini and entropy and we don't know we don't know which one is better to our model and we can see it by apply cross validation to our to our classifier and uh, so this variable contains uh, all possible variation of hyperparameters and we will find the best combination of these hyperparameters and next step is to instantiate a decision tree classifier let's name this variable simple is tree tree is a variable from decision tree classifier object let's do it still working good and next step in here is to instantiate the randomized search cv object it will be tree cv it's a modified and improved decision tree classifier after cross validation and cross validation will find the best combination of our hyperparameters and as you can see here we have uh, uh, include a tree standard classifier we will include our all possible hyperparameters and set a size of cross validation grid let's say it's five this will be enough for us let's do it okay before we have to run this part of code and cross validation is performing fine and the last step in here is to fit it to the data it's simple just to apply fit method to the training set x train and i train let's do it fine it's working and and the most funny part is to check the results we can check the result by print the accuracy wireless 
to the console. And in this place, we are reached our goal. We see that the best combination of our hyperparameters to this model is uh, criterion is Gini, not entropy. Max depth is equal to three. Min sample leaf is equal to seven. And it's returned the best score to our model is point, uh, 0 0.9. Fine, it's very good results. And if you want to compare our modified and improved uh, model to the standard one, the best way, in my opinion, is to compare results from Confusion Matrix. And let's try to do it. And before making Confusion Matrix, we have to implement some prediction. It's, uh, we can do it from our cross-validated uh, classifier and apply predict method to this. Okay, testing set is included and we made some prediction in this variable and of course we can create confusion matrix which return 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 incorrect values as you remember in this uh, standard uh, model we had a uh, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 incorrect values. So the conclusion is simple. Uh, our model after cross validation uh, and after hyperparameter tuning returns better and I think the best result for this specific uh, data set, for this specific model. And congratulations, it's working and I suggest you to play around by your own code and for your own datasets. Thank you for this part.